Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So when it comes to Artemis 2, it turns out it's gonna be a minute and I'm with you, it's a little frustrating. When they announced these missions, 2024 sounded like it was a million miles away, but then we all collectively blinked and it was 2024. And this fall was going to be the departure of Artemis 2. But alas, after a press teleconference on January 9th, NASA announced it's not gonna happen at least not this year. So let's get into the why, the when, the new when, and what this means for the Artemis program. So on January 9th, NASA announced that the Artemis II mission will be delayed from November 2024 until September 2025. And the Artemis III moon landing mission, originally targeted for late 2025, will now aim for September 2026. Now, as a reminder, Artemis II is the one where we send four astronauts to the moon, circle it a bunch of times, and then come back home. Artemis 3 is the one where we actually land on the moon, Apollo 11 style. During the briefing, Bill Nelson said, safety is our top priority, and to give Artemis teams more time to work through the challenges with first-time developments, operations, and integration, we're going to give more time on Artemis 2 II and 3. But as of now, though, Artemis 4 is still on track to launch in September of 2028. But that's like a million miles away. So the delay is just because they need more time? Kind of. It appears that crew safety is really, really at the forefront of their concern. As we've recently learned with Peregrine, when it comes to trips to the moon, things can go wrong. And when you've got a crew aboard, crossing your T's and dotting your I's is just really no joke. Jim Free, NASA's associate administrator, said during the conference, I want to emphasize that safety is our number one priority. You heard it from the administrator today. You've heard it multiple times. And as we prepare to send our friends and colleagues on this mission, we're committed to launching as safely as possible. And we will launch when we're ready. And as I mentioned in my previous Artemis 2 video, there are a number of new systems that they are launching with this mission. This includes new abort systems, new life support systems, and new facilities at the Kennedy Space Center to enable rapid propellant loading, which reduces the loading operation from two to three hours to 45 minutes. And they're still learning lessons from the Artemis 1 mission and making adjustments. For example, the heat shield sufficiently protected Orion, but much of it charred away from the spacecraft, which I think a lot of you noticed during my Christmas video. Amit Chatria, Deputy Associate Administrator for NASA's Moon to Mars program, noted, we did see the off-nominal recession of some char that came off the heat shield, which we were not expecting. Now this heat shield is an ablative material. It is supposed to char, but it's not what we were expecting, with some pieces of that char to be liberated from the vehicle. That is one of my new favorite NASA expressions liberated from the vehicle. Shatria also said that some of the life support hardware inside the Artemis III Orion spacecraft will have to be replaced due to failures during testing. This is actually one of the most time-consuming processes because it requires disassembling and accessing so many different systems inside the capsule. Also, the electrical system and the crew abort system that pulls the capsule away from the SLS rocket in the event of a launch anomaly has apparently not exactly performed well during testing. And as they said in the press conference, they have not developed a solution for this issue. So they have a whole lot more testing to do just on this one issue, and they're meant to launch in 10 months. So yeah. I can kind of see why it's going this way. But despite the delays, NASA is still clearly very enthusiastic about Artemis II. There are still regular updates on the website, and Bill Nelson asserted, Artemis represents what we can accomplish as a country, as a global coalition, and what we can accomplish when we set our sights on what is hard. Which I appreciate. So while I don't begrudge them for doing it the right way, I can't help but feel a little sad little selfish about not getting to see Artemis 2 launch this year. But I know we're all going to blink and it's going to be 2025 before we know it. So uh, fine. This time, NASA. This time. Okay, that's it for now. I'll post a link to the full media conference in the description below if you guys want to hear more specifics. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm sure you guys are much more mature and understanding about this than I am. <laughs> I think I just got, I think I just got too excited. I came into 2024 like, here we go. It's time. We're back, baby. But no, 
Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.